Namaskar, welcome to Lunar Astro. So today's topic, what I'm going to teach you today is how to see the chart with a particular flow chart. Even if you're a beginner in Jyotish, even if you have a lot of experience in Jyotish, what happens with every student of Jyotish is, and this happens with me as well, that there are so many techniques, there are so many dashas, there, there's so much of information which you can use. But if you will not streamline it, if you will not focus on step-by-step -step methods, you will eventually lose out on the prediction part because if you analyze too much, after analyzing like 15 minutes, there will be no predictions. And I will teach you that how you can see the chart, make a prediction, and then you can give out that this is a time period, you will get the job back. And this is the live example because I was planning to make a video, but I saw an email of a, of a, of a person who was continuously going through a bad phase. I thought, why not to help him as well as make the video on this particular chart as well. So I will share the same chart with you. I will follow the flow chart. You just stay and look into it. If you don't understand anything, just let me know in the comment section. Because it's a very simple process. I'm sure that by this time, you know all these things. The only thing is application. So we'll look, look into this. Chart, September 8, 1976, 1730 is a birth time. Born in Delhi. Person is suffering from the job issue. This is what he's saying. But let me... Before even you go and look at a dasha, you should know why it is happening with the help of yogas. So look and analyze the chart. First of all, whether the person will work for soul, mind or body. So if you will work for the body only, you have to look from 10th from the ascendant, which is this house. If I have to look, we will work for mind as well. It was 10th from moon. So this is both ways. 10th from sun will be Jupiter but now in this case both Lagan and Moon are same that is why I will take this 10th house as its professional house this is the first step second thing what I will check is if there are plants in Mrityu Bhag so he's clear with the Mrityu Bhag planets which is good thing third thing what I will check where is the natural Karam Karaka Saturn Always pay special attention to Saturn when you are analyzing profession. Now Saturn is in 6th house, which is not a bad house for Saturn, but it is in sign of Cancer. Cancer is a sign of instability. Whenever any plant goes in Cancer, it becomes unpredictable, moody, not giving continuous results. When Saturn goes in it, in the sign of Cancer, there is problems related to attitude of the person. The person will not be able to continue profession for a long period of time until and unless he goes in a profession where he has to deal with masses and the, the emotion of cancer comes in. Now, when the Saturn is in cancer, I have to also look what is in trying to center, trying to uh, Saturn. The trying to Saturn is also empty. Like 10th house is trying to Saturn. And 12th, second house, which is also trying to Saturn, they are empty. In front of Saturn, and this is a very simple Nadi technique, in front of Saturn, there is Sun. So there will be always clashes with the bosses. Also, what I will check is, how this particular person, once I have done with Saturn, now we will look into what will be the case of 10th Lord. Because primary is always Saturn. Secondly, you analyze the 10th Lord. So Saturn is not in a good position. Now let's look at the 10th Lord. 10th house has Mandi. First thing. 10th house has secondly Scorpio sign. Always going through transformations, troubles. The person like to take challenges. So he's a hard working person, like to take challenges. And the profession will never be stable because the moment he will build something, he will be told, now it's time for you to leave. But reason is, 10th Lord is also in the 8th house of Virgo. Now see how karmic his professional life will be. The reason being is, the reason why I'm telling you the karmic of the professional life will be, because both signs, Virgo and Scorpio, are involved with his professional life. His 10th Lord is also in the 6th house. So in all the fronts, I can see 
Saturn in sixth house, karmic. Tenth Lord in sign of Virgo, again karmic, and then the Scorpio sign in the tenth house. So one thing is very clear that the native will be underpaid. He has to pay debt to the employers. Also, Saturn being the karma karka. See why the Saturn becomes karma 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 karka. You have to always think why Saturn will become karma karka. Why what gives the the opportunity that only Saturn becomes karma karka because Saturn is a residue. What all the other planets finish like you always give your bad clothes to the your servants. You never give your new clothes. Very few people give new clothes to, uh, to the servants. Their Saturn must be in sign of Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. See, this is one of the sutras. Uh, I mean, you can look into the plan, the house of the where Saturn is placed, and by that you can tell what you will give to your Saturn. Now his Saturn is just beyond the sun. It means he is going towards the higher energy, very high energy planet. Saturn is going to give something to the sun and who is sun? Sun is their bosses, sun is their father. So even if he will have nothing with him, like what does Saturn has to offer? Saturn has can only give you physical hard work. So he will do a lot of hard work for the sun. This is how you interpret the Saturn and sun combination in the chart, in this particular chart especially. When Saturn will be in sixth house, in sign of cancer what he will give to employees he has to give out some kind of food which is stale to the employees that is why he got the saturn in sixth house bad food to the or bad milk to the or bad tea to the employees one of the big best remedies for saturn sixth house in sign of cancer is distribute tea Now, once we have analyzed the base of the chart, this is Rashi chart only. Okay, let me give you one more insight into the chart. This is a sign of Gemini, fifth house, vision of the person. What actually person thinks? What he will study in life? Now, the thing is, with Saturn, uh, this fifth lord in eighth house, his eighth house is loaded. Whenever you find fifth lord in going in the eighth house, always make sure and this is in very special position see this is both houses belongs to mercury fifth house and eighth house eighth lord in eighth house it means this is very strong this is stronger than the fifth house it means the person whatever he will study in life he will never be able to use it this guy did history honors but was not able to get the job in the same he is working in different department so your education will not be useful to you. I mean, how you will see whether you are whatever you are studying will be useful to you or not. It has to make connections to 11th house. Fifth Lord has to make connection to 11th house. Second house. 11th Lord. Second Lord. Pada of A11. A2 in the fifth house. Then only you can make money from what you have read in your life. Otherwise, very few people, they study a lot of things, but there are very few people who can make money from it. Similarly, one of these other dictums which I always say to check, the Navanch of the 10th Lord, Navanch of the Saturn, you should check to see what will be the profession of the native. Now, his profession, although it is in 8th house, that's a, you know, outer picture what it is doing in this navan chart your bhagya chart again the mars goes in eighth house in sign of virgo so it will be something like the insurance asset management decoding research work and this is mars you know mars has a mars cannot do research it is with mercury and venus dealing with people he is doing the management part but dealing with the assets this is in the eighth house. Also, what you can, what you should also see in the Navan chart is position of Saturn. It is coming into the eleventh Navanj. 
in third house which shows when saturn goes from sixth to third it shows later in the life he will have a good good career not in the earlier part saturn third house whenever you will find these people have rise later in the life also whatever their natural talent is because what happens is third house is subconscious brain your natural talent what you're carrying from your past life see he's giving debts to the by being underpaid he's paying debt to his employers but in this third house it means later in the life when the subconscious will come because of saturn he will be able to rise up in life let's look at the dashanth chart his career part and you will find in dashanth chart as well the first thing the base of dashanth lagna rahu sitting in the lagna it is aquarius ascendant but the thing is 8th house is loaded in this is the shan chart as well 8th house is death of profession whenever you will see 8th or 12th loaded in the dashan this becomes a very difficult chart for the profession so moon saturn mercury venus all four in the 8th house now what we have to look into this particular chart as once you have the idea now ki what is the base of this particular chart now let's move to dasha he is running the mahadasha of mercury which is one thing from 2009 to 2026 the second antar is running of jupiter but he is but he is started having problems from mercury rahu from mercury rahu he uh, Mercury Rahu he was actually working. Mercury Jupiter in June in March 2022 he was asked to leave. Mercury Jupiter. Now there is one particular special point, and this is what you should understand in terms of Jyotish as well. Different astrologers have divided different portions. Like what we are looking into is a tenth sequence, tenth tenth vibration of the plant, tenth division of the house. This is how Maharishi Parashar have divided the space. What Maharishi Brigu did, he said, "I am going to use only the Rashi chart, nothing else." He said, "I am going to use only this portion. No other chart I will draw. But what I will do is, I will make sure that I will divide time and give you rhythms of the chart. If I use the Maharishi Brigu system, and I will come to it in just a minute." But let me complete this. Mercury, Jupiter. There is something called as the energy points in the chart. Like what is the energy point of Mercury, Jupiter? Where it will focus, and if that energy point has a malefic influence, is not good place. That Lord is not good place. That dasha, anta dasha, pratyanta dasha will be extremely bad. Like in the case of this particular person. the focus of the chart the energy point of the chart lies in the 8th house and you can see it's a 8th house first of all it has a debilitated planet such as venus it has mars it has mercury this is why this dasha is extremely bad for the native i mean the energy point i will teach some other day i mean all these calculations if you see which i have done for the chart <clears throat> these calculations are for to find the energy points in the chart because softwares do not calculate energy points and what happens with the energy point is i'm very clear like if for dasha part the first thing i will see whenever i will come to dasha i will see where is the energy point like one of the charts i remember and this lady came to me for a consultation flying from bangalore or pune in her chart the energy point was in 7th house and the 7th house was in a very bad shape like malefic really hemmed problems in the 7th house she was going through divorce although the planets had no connection like 7th was house was empty but that was the focus of the energy so you can calculate these energy points on different levels like you can go up to prana dasha and say today this will be your energy focus i have not taught it and secondly the thing is uh, 
spend there are so many things which you know I've, I've kept with me reason being is i will teach it one day and the next day students will not practice or the dasha part with students will not practice like i taught a rhythm in the karma and relationship course and this is a part of the bhrigo sutra how the plants works in rhythm very few students were able to pick it up that is why i've thought ki this time when i'm going to teach the bhrigo sutra i'm going to take 27 students send them email and not even announce it this is how i'm going to teach the bhrigo sutra but mercury jupiter the focus is here now you understand this why the jupiter will create problems because jupiter is housewise exalted my why mercury jupiter will create problems in dasha because until unless jupiter become very heavy with venus venus is also again debilitated when jupiter is sitting in a house whose lord is debilitated it means even if jupiter is exalted jupiter is trying to draw the happy energy from that house his house lord his rashi lord who has to deliver the results actually who has to manifest things is still in a bad position you have to understand what is house rashi and planet and this is one thing which i want to make you clear jupiter is house wise exalted it means he's very happy but house is that there will be something related to fourth house will happen in this dasha very clear rashi says rashi, the rashi lord says this the rashi lord number is number two money money will come from the house in this dasha and the person is saying i'm trying to sell the my house so he's also confirming the same thing jupiter taurus fourth house but how it is going to get delivered it is depends on the planets now rashi lord is debilitated so he's selling out house in the extreme conditions because venus is not happy at all it first of all it is placed in the eighth house so fourth lord fourth lord is getting die fourth lord is getting in the house of death it means house will be sold out one thing secondly it will not be a very happy affair for the senator venus is debilitated so once you have seen this this is a bad dasha let's go to when the good dasha will come for the native there is a bad dasha is running now look at the pratyantar i have to find him a part where he can actually get the job because he got fired somewhere here in the mercury jupiter mercury when the eighth house circuit got complete he got fired up now to find out a dasha where he can get the job and see this is a timing which i've given him because ketu is not giving him job Ketu has nothing to do with like Ketu is bringing him changes. He's sitting in third house in Aries sign. And remember what I told you about Aries. Anywhere the Dasha runs of the plant sitting in Aries, there will be something new. Now third going in the tenth in the sign of Cancer again sixth house. So he will change places. Third lord in tenth, he will try to learn something, bring in some connections, but it will not bring in job job will come in when the dasha of shukra will kick in this is the dasha when the native will get the job and i will confirm this with the other dasha as well why reason is because every time you are going to look at the chart do not rely on one dasha mm -hmm. use always second dasha and this is a kal chakra dasha this is the one which is calculated by the Shakti Mohan Singh Ji. Like if you go to options, you will find out different types of dasha. The last one is done by SM Singh. Click on it. Okay. And this will tell you the same story. Like he is running Mahadasha of Aries. Look what has happened to the 10th Lord. All you have to do in Kal Chakra Dasha is look between connection 1st house, 10th house. Where's first house? It is in sixth house of Rogue Rene Shatru. Where's the tenth lord? It is in the fourth house. They are not in sync. They are in 311 position. It means a lot of hard work to be done in this particular position. This also shows in Saturn, this positor's moon is in 11th house. Gain from the property, but not in a happy manner because Saturn is not a happy planet. Now, when you look into the antars of it, what he's running, you'll find out he's running Libra Antar. 
what is the length of Libra? Can you see the connection in first and tenth? Ascendant Lord debilitated in twelfth. Tenth Lord in fifth house. And see the beauty of Kal Chakra. He got the position. Tenth Lord in fifth house they got the position. But not the money. Fake promises. Again, sign of Aquarius. Venus and Moon. First Lord and Tenth Lord in sixth eight position. That is why this Dasha was extremely bad for the native. Now, what I'm telling him to get the job after Libra will come the Scorpio. Make Scorpio as an ascendant. <coughs> and you will find out there are two things which are very good. First of all, 10th Lord is in 10th house. Lagan Lord in 11th house. In Dashan's chart, you have to see whether the connection of Mars and Sun are happening in any way or not. The thing is, in although in Dashan's, Mars and Sun are not making connections, but Mars is with the A7 Pada, which is the fifth sign of Leo. Also, Mars is sitting in 9th house and 9th house belongs to Jupiter only. It's a natural house of Jupiter. So that's why they're still not in this, as bad as it was supposed to be, as it was earlier. So this is a Dasha where he will get the job at least. And this is confirmed in both Dashas now. Now I have to find out in which particular month he will get the job. So I have to choose between Cancer, 10th Lord in 8th, no, then I'll go to Leo, Leo is still better, Lagan Lord in Lagan, 10th Lord in 2nd house, still a better position, so Leo I will say he will get the job, then comes a Gemini, I will see how is the Gemini in his case, Gemini is Jupiter and Mercury, and Mercury is making connection, with, looking at the house of Jupiter, Jupiter looking into Mercury, this will be excellent Dasha. So, most likely in Leo Dasha, he is going to get the job. You see, once we narrow down the things, process the flow chart, you will be able to make predictions very quickly. Secondly, the energy point in that chart during the once this uh, Mercury Jupiter, Mercury was running up, it was extremely negative. It was like a uh, sign of Libra 9000 was coming. So, bosses were not happy with him. The moment it will change, the energy of the person will change. Similarly, when you look into the Brigo system, which I forgot to mention, why I said this is going to be extremely very, I mean, the person will cry this year because this is the last year when the Scorpio will operate and Cancer will operate. So imagine Scorpio and Cancer, 6th house and 10th house. This is the last portion. So that is why the final karma is getting paid back. From next year onwards, he will start running the cycle of eight years. And with next eight years, he's going to rise up in life. At least it will be better than what he's going to go before. Last eight years, what he went through. Imagine sixth lord of Saturn's plants, which is sitting in sixth house. Saturn was placed in the tenth house of Scorpio. This is what was happening with him. Because Maharishi Virigu, what he did. He said, I'm not going to divide the, the space. I'm going to divide the time cycles. I'm going to give you that for these many years, you will be good. These many years, you will be bad. These many years, your marriage will learn, turn good. You will live up to these years. This is how he divided the time to make events and predictions. And this is why you can make daily charts in Brigu Samhita. In between, and this is what the problem with the Brigu Samhita is, we tried... You got it translated. Eventually, some problem happens whenever it comes to Brigu Samhita. So that is why I've decided at one point of time, I will go ahead teaching a close group about the Brigu Samhita because it is not for everyone. No, not everyone will be able to go through the energy of Brigu Samhita. You can write your own Brigu Samhita if you know the code. Like you can write down daily charts. You can write down monthly charts. You can write down yearly charts, uh, eight years charts, four year charts. Because what you're doing, you're dividing the time phases of the human life cycle. 
and then you can also continue after the death he will go to this particular places before the death he was in these particular places this is how the brigu samhita this is how beautiful the brigu samhita is so wait for it at one point of time i will send email we will not advertise it i will send out emails at one point of time and 27 28 students that's it this is what maximum is in the brigu samhita course and this will come out soon so but follow the flow chart if you do not understand any point in flow chart let me know but this these are the basics before you go to nakshatras before you go to any other thing follow this and i'll see you guys next time thank you bye bye